Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Uh, today, uh, Cameron and I, oh, wait a minute. That's, that ain't Cameron, that's Gabe. Yeah. Say, say hi, Gabe. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, Gabe's gonna be filling in while Cameron is mending, and uh, I, th I think he's gonna be a good helper. So, uh, y'all all, all say hi to, hi to Gabe. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, today we're working on a water line. I was over here uh, a few days ago, and uh, uh, we had some other work to do besides the water line. And uh, uh, there's either, there's only two appliances on this one water line. There's a, a commode in the half bath and the cold water in the kitchen sink. And um, so we did, we tore into it far enough to know that um, we've got one, one set of water lines that go down the outside of the camper that go to um, the sink the, in the half bath. So we got a hot and a cold there. And apparently right beside of it, about three feet away, uh, there's another set of lines, a hot and a cold. It goes from the water compartment here and on the back side there. And then, uh, then it just runs right straight down the camper, like about, say about three or four feet from the edge of the, so about three or four feet from the side of the camper and runs to that commode, probably tees up, goes to that commode in a half bath and then continues on to the, to the kitchen sink. And the cold one, the cold water line is the only one that we're having any trouble with. And it has just absolutely almost no flow. I mean, just a trickle of water comes out of those lines. So, um, yeah, we were unhooking water lines like at the commode and we were um, uh, adapting like a water hose to it to see how, what the flow was like, make sure it wasn't uh, something else and all that. And like I say, uh, we, it's, it's either gonna be a kink, which I don't think so, or it's gonna be an obstruction, which I really think is what's gonna be, we're gonna find. So uh, me and Gabe, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. It's uh, up in this belly is gonna be a hard place to video, but uh, we're gonna do our best. And uh, so you ready to go, Gabe? I'm ready. He's ready. All right, our, uh, our blue water line, this is the one that's giving us problems. Okay. Tees off right here, goes up, we think, probably to the commode in the full bath. And then right beside of it <coughs> is another tee. That's the, where it goes through this floor to the commode in the half bath and into the kitchen sink. Um, so that T right there must be where the problem is, I hope. Um, so I'm going to cut that T out and, uh, we're going to see if there's some kind of obstruction there. So, um, here we go. This is really going to be a tough place to video, but hopefully you'll get the gist of what's going on anyway. Even if you can't actually see what's going on. So, like I said, I'm gonna reach in here and cut, cut this T out. And uh, it's not gonna be the easiest place to put it back together either, of course. Uh, because if it's not here, then there's a kink underneath this camper, which means we're gonna have to tear uh, probably about 10 feet of belly out from this thing. So I'm really kind of hoping we find, find some kind of issue right there. All right, I'm gonna reach in here and cut this water line that goes, goes towards the front to the commode in the, in the uh, kitchen sink. First. Finish cutting this tea out. I really hope that we're gonna find some kind of obstruction here. I really don't feel like tearing 
a bunch of belly out today. Gabe, he don't know any better. So he's like, I don't really care what we find. <laughs> right, Gabe? Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't feel like tearing out 10 feet of bottom either. Yeah, you have no idea how much fun that's going to be. Yeah, damn. Well, folks, that ain't it. I really thought there was going to be some kind of obstruction there. I was hoping anyway. Um, hmm. Where's that red one at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, oh man, mm. well, I'll be. Um, okay. Well, as you saw, there's nothing in that T. So we're actually going to go under, start pulling belly down until we can access the, the water line below the commode. I would expect there's another T there and uh, take that T out and see if there's something in there. If not, uh, we'll probably just... Uh, Try and pull a new water line through because I mean it's got to be between right here you know where this water door is at and the commode that's the first that's the first appliance that's uh, being affected and one of these and one of these nope so uh, so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get started tearing that belly part so y'all hang on all right this is the section of belly has to come down <clears throat> got a, a lot of gas lines to deal with here. Um, let's go start pulling these gas lines down first. <clears throat> so, uh, as soon as I get some of this belly down, it's just removing screws and uh, getting this belly down so we can see what's going on. Uh, as soon as I get done with that, we'll be right back. All right, here's something kind of interesting. Uh, several years ago, a lot of the manufacturers started shooting nails in the frame to uh, hold this belly up. And the best way I've found to get them out of there is grab them with a pair of vice grips, twist them and pull down. Usually, they will come right out. Usually they come out a lot easier than this. Usually they come out a lot easier than that. So that's a nail. They actually shoot up in there with probably a pneumatic tool and it they shoot that nail right through that frame. Is that not crazy? So there's a there's three or four of those on this side that I've got to get out. And then uh, we'll be able to drop this belly down. I didn't have to I didn't have to disturb much of that gas line in order to get to what I needed to get to. Which was uh which was really good. Let's see. I'll try one more of these here on camera. See if it see if it comes out any easier. Heck usually you just wiggle them once and they fall right out. That's uh that one I just took out was the, probably the hardest one I've ever seen. That's how they usually come out. You just wiggle them and they fall right out. That's a, it's just crazy to me to think 
that they can to take a pneumatic tool and shoot nails right through the frame of this trailer. And no, we won't be nailing it back. We'll be putting screws in it when we go back. Well, mercy sakes. All right, should be able to pull some of this belly down here. I hope. I got enough plastic belly down to to get this. Now we got this fiber belly here that we got to get through. Let's uh, let's not make a small exploratory haul here. Uh, reach up in there and see if that's where our commode line is at. There's the red one. Where would be the blue one? That water line's pinched. It's pinched. Yep. It's got between the. It's got between the frame. There's a. See that aluminum frame? Can you see that? That's. Actually, I cannot. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got aluminum uh, floor joists that run front to rear. Okay. And then you got this. Can you see this little bulge right here? Yep. That's your water line. It's got between that aluminum piece and this piece. Well, so when they when they put it in, they just put it in wherever and put that over the top of it. Probably. Well, probably when you were bouncing around going to PA, yeah. it's probably bounced over and got underneath that. That'd be have to be my guess. So that's exactly what happened. Hmm. Well, now. <laughs> If we can, if we can just get this to separate a little bit here, or I can get that water line out and under it, we'll, I'd say that water line will be fine. And we'll tie it, we'll tie it so it can't do that again. All right, well, <laughs> I found it. Probably not gonna be able to show you what it is. Um, yeah, look at your picture, buddy. This camper has aluminum trusses in the floor. I can show you that. See the aluminum truss runs front to rear and then you've got these these braces on the frame and right over here right there that water line has got between one of those floor joists and that brace right there if you can see there's a little bitty bump right here i don't know whether you can see there or not that's actually that blue water line it's it's pinched right there so we're going to try and get it unpinched since it's packs if we get it unpinched i think it will be fine and then we'll tie it over so it can't do that again i don't know how that happened exactly but uh we're going to try and keep it from happening again all right all right well <laughs> got that water line out there uh y'all see how thin that was and i'm telling you what now that thing that thing was absolutely smashed flat between that cross member and that and that uh, truss frame member i mean it was smashed flat uh, you know it would have probably been fine after we got it out from under there we used pry bars to pry the two pieces of metal apart and I just reach up in there and pull this out. That would have been fine. It uh, it flows a lot of water. It would flow a lot of water now, but then y'all wouldn't have got to see it. 
I wish that camera would focus. Here, I'll put it in front of my face. Still don't want to focus. Hang on. Hold the camera, Matt. Okay. Spin around here. There you go. There's that water line. That's how thin that thing was, and it was, it was in there so hard that it was smashed completely flat. So. So uh, actually, uh, all me and Gabe got to do is uh, we've already pulled a new water line through. I got it hooked up underneath the camper. We got to put that T back that we took out earlier. Uh, we'd have had to take something apart there anyway, so no big loss. Um, so what do you think, Gabe? It was uh, not too bad, huh? Yeah. Uh, so uh, at least he got his feet wet a little bit, and uh, uh, maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll decide he don't want to work with me anymore i don't know doubt it <laughs> so hey we're just gonna wrap this thing up um uh, we got to put the belly back and uh and put that uh, like i said we got to put the tea back in that water line and uh then uh, we're gonna go get some lunch because it's uh it's memorial let's see memorial no it's labor day, it? labor day it's labor day monday and uh this is all we're gonna do today so we're gonna go get some lunch and uh y'all have a fantastic day you want to say bye? Bye. Bye. There you go. That's all you get. These kids and their multiple words. I don't know. Hey, thanks for watching. See you later.